Hello, this is George Demery for another episode of Your Money Matters. Today is a very, very special day for Money Matters. Remember what we do at Money Matters. First of all, we want to help people to build financial literacy. We want folks to understand how their money works and how to make money. We want to give people education opportunities and share with them what they can do to not only learn how to, to spend, save, and give money, but also how to earn money. We want to teach people how to build their credit rating, that we want every person, every person does a, does a part of our membership and visitors to have credit ratings over 700. That's got to be your goal. And finally, and just as important as all the rest, that's to help you to get away from financial slavery, debt. Now today, again, is a very special day because I have a very special guest. Here we have Jim Spratlin, who is president and CEO of Park Community Credit Union, along with Dave Shadburn, who is executive vice president of Park Community Credit Union, and, and my friend and fraternity brother, Raymond Smith, who is now president of a new division of Park, and that's called Aura. Now, did I pronounce it right, Ray? Did, it. did I get it? Now, let me tell you, audience, I practiced that a number of times <laughs> because I wanted to make sure that I gave Mr. Jim, his right title, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that I said the right title for, for the new division of, of, of Park Community Credit Union. Park, when you think about those, Park, they say they're doing things the right way, and that's your way. And if you go to their website and you see what they have and the things they have to offer, they know, you, you'll realize that the things that they do are just as customer friendly or more than customer friendly of any other financial institution available that, I, that I've really, guys, that I've ever seen. Another thing that struck me when I was looking at, at your website and the things that set you apart from some of the other financial institutions is that you have an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. So it tells me that not only are, are you offering a great product, but you're doing business the right way. So with that being said, and this goes out to either one of you guys, you have made an effort to be a part of Western Jefferson County, that you wanted to have a presence there because you understood that there was a need here, that a number of the financial institutions have decided to leave when you looked at it just the opposite and decided right. to come back. Mm -hmm. Jim, may I, may I ask you sure. first, why did you decide to do that? Well, it all goes back to the mission. It all goes back to the vision that we've got. We think that everybody should have access to fair and affordable financial products. Shouldn't matter where they live. Shouldn't matter whatever their real or perceived socioeconomic status is, they need that opportunity to know what financial services they can get to. Raymond likes to say that it's all about access to opportunity. So we've got to give people the education, the financial education, to let them know what they can do. It, it's amazing you see so many times that people, will, they'll go out and they'll use a payday lender, or these high interest lenders, and they don't need to. They have other opportunities that they're just not aware of. So what we try and do is just to get in front of them so we can educate them about what products we have, what services we can do so that we can help them um, better themselves financially. What are some of the many ways, because 
from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, from what I understand, uh, one of the reasons that people a little leery about any financial mm -hmm. institutions because they're not really comfortable with it. How do you help people on that comfort level in you guys? Well, I think it goes back really to understanding what a credit union is all about. You know, our motto is people helping people. We're here to help our members. Our members, banks call them customers, that's why we exist. We don't have stockholders in New York or some other place that we have to satisfy with what our ROA does or to really pull every nickel, dime, and penny out of the people we serve. The people we serve are our owners. We are a collaborative that works together to make sure we're trying to meet all the needs that exist in all the communities that we're serving. So we actually exist to help people. That's what sets us apart. And so that really permeates everything we do. We like to say it's part of our DNA. It's not something we have to do. It's something we want to do. So we are truly a mission-driven organization. And I think you see that that makes a difference in how we treat people and the products that we offer. And, I, and if I can add to that, what we do, what we tell our staff to do, what we're trying to... And, and and impress upon them is that you have to listen to the member. You have to listen to what they need. Everybody has a story, right? I mean, everybody's got a story out there. So you've got to listen to what their need is so that we can make sure that we get them in the right product, the right service, the one that they need, not just a cookie cutter program of the week. We want to make sure we're getting them in the right thing. So you listen to the people and make sure you understand what their need is. One of, the thing, one of the things you were saying, George, is about Park also coming within the community, right? When so many are running away, how yeah. we're running into the community. You know, one of the things that, that is so important, uh, don't tell me you care. Yeah. Don't tell mm -hmm. me you love me. Show me that you care about me. And how do we do that? Is that we bring the credit union to you, right? And so we want to make sure that we're in the communities that we're serving. We want to meet you where you are to provide the financial services that you need. And I think that's truly important. And, and what we do. I, I share with people uh, one of the ways that when you're ready to purchase a house, for an example, yeah. that develop a relationship with a, 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 a person at, at a bank or credit union. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But develop a relationship with that person. Share with me, guys, how you develop those kind of relationships with people. Well, I like, I like to say it this way when I talk, and I, and I share with people all the time. It's important, the relationship. There's a difference in having a relationship and doing business. You can do business with anybody, but relationships are quid pro quo. And so when you're looking to really develop a relationship, uh, it's a matter of, I, I say, when you go into any branch, when you go into any location of a financial institution, after you open up your account, go ask, ask my meet the manager, right? And then I speak to someone that's in charge. And do it before you need anything. Because, see, many times people are expecting you want to see the manager, oh, what's wrong, there's a problem, and they're on defense. But when you walk in and say, listen, I just want to meet you, George. Hi, I'm Raymond Smith. I'm a new member here, and I just wanted to introduce myself. Didn't, don't need anything. Just want to say hello to you and tell you who I am. After that, every time you come in there, I'm going to be walking out of the office going, George, how you doing? Come see me. Come on, sit down and have coffee. It's about relationship. Relationships have their privileges, and we believe in that. We believe in developing relationships, not doing business. Well, okay, we've talked about what you've done so far, and there's, and there's a ton more we're going, we're going to go over. I don't think we can get it done in a half an hour, but we're going to try our very best. Tell me, how, how have you, how, how has it been a benefit to you? How do you, how do you feel the benefit from, from doing business your way? Well, go ahead. You can go. You start it. <laughs> it goes back to building those relationships, right? You're building lifelong friendships. You're seeing the impact that you're having in all the communities that we're supposed to be serving. We are walking hand in hand, side by side, trying to address some of the issues that have existed for you know, years and years and years. So walking the talk. It's easy to say words. It's more difficult to actually walk it. So we really try to walk it and lead by example. We want to be there. And so that, that lifts everybody up, lifts us up. It encourages us to even want to do even more where we can. You have, I started this program by saying you have some of the most creative, giving options that any customer could want. So let's take a couple of minutes to, to talk about a few of those. Like, like, like what, one of those are, you know, your, your credit builder and how mm -hmm. you help people to build credit. I share with people often on, on Your Money Matters that the number next to your name dictates what it's going to cost for you to go and purchase money. So 
for anything mm -hmm. you want. So tell me how, how does Credit Builder work? So, uh, so we've got a, a range of Credit Builder products. Actually, we've got a Credit Builder loan, we've got a, a, a Credit Builder CD, I think it's Wealth Builder CD, mm -hmm. and then we've got the uh, Fresh Start accounts. And, and they're basically accounts that are, that are out there to help give people that second chance to rebuild their credit and make their, have their score go up. So the Credit Builder loan in particular, we loan you the money, we put the money in your account so you can create savings, you pay it off when you get done, the money is there. So you've, also, you've actually created savings. So you've gotten a loan, you've made your payments, you created a positive credit record, and then when you get done, you've got savings sitting in your account. So it's actually twofold what it does. Wow, I, I, one of my questions later on today was gonna be, how do you help people save money? Yeah. Well, what you're telling me, now, 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 now Raymond, he has to kick me in the ankle to make sure that I'm right. <laughs> uh, so what, so what, what, what you're telling me is that you're loaning money, Mm -hmm. for people to pay back, mm -hmm. and then, then that becomes a part of their savings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Well, 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 who does that? Yep. You know what I mean? Tell me about yep. another one that I think is, wow, I wish I, I, and maybe one day I could need it. I don't, who knows? But, but those micro loans, tell yeah. me, micro commercial loans, tell, tell us about those. Let's say we have folks out there that are looking to start their business and just need a little bit of funds to help them to get there. How can you help those businesses? That micro commercial yep. loan product is just for those individuals. Yep. It goes up to $10,000 as far as the amount you can borrow. It's amortized over a three-year period. It's really not credit score driven. So you could be a brand new business owner. You could be somebody who wants to expand your business by a piece of equipment, for example. It's got a very low interest rate. But what's even better, we use it as a financial education tool. So if you make all your payments on time, at the end of this three-year term, we refund 100% of the interest back to the borrower. So it's an interest-free <laughs> yeah. loan yeah. of up to $10,000 to business owners that need help for whatever purpose, to make their business better, to grow, or even start a business. Well, one, one of the things, if I can just piggyback on that a little bit, if you don't mind, Please. is that many times individuals may say, well, well, well I need a little more than 10. 10 gives you that start that boost that, that many times you're unable to get. I, I'm always happy, and I just talked with him today, one of our, one of our members of PARC that, that I use it as an, as an illustration of, of doing what you say you're going to do, is that he got the micro commercial loan. Set it up, you know, to make sure that he was never late. He set his repayment up on automatic debit, so we take it out of his account every month, because when you pay it as agreed, you receive, you receive your, a rebate on that 100% interest that you paid. Now, here's what he's done. He started with the micro loan. He then graduated into a guidance line of credit. He graduated from that into a revolving line of credit and became a tier one supplier for the city of Louisville. Has recently told me, you know, Raymond, he said, uh, is it okay if I don't use my line of credit right now? Because the cash flow, <laughs> the cash flow of the business is such that I'm not needing it right now. And, and even during the pandemic, he has had record years of sales because of starting with the micro loan to be able to graduate to a revolving line of credit to put himself in a position of doing business at the highest level. Well, let me, let me tell you what you, what, what, um, you are answering one of my earlier questions here. And I said, how, have, how has it been a benefit to you? Um, you know, you're, you're doing a lot for a lot of folks. I mean, you're, you're, you're giving folks money and if they pay it back, you're not even making money from it. So I'm right. thinking, well, how's the benefit? <laughs> but you know what you're doing while you're sitting here? I'm watching your faces when, the, when you're telling these stories. Mm. And, and, and I can tell when it's genuine that what you're trying to do is help people. And when your goal, when your, I believe this from the bottom of my heart, when you're... When your, when, when your bottom line is helping someone else's bottom line, in the long run, it will help your bottom line. Well, yeah. every one of those products that we've talked about so far, it, it, it shows that we have a belief and a trust in the member. Mm. We believe that what you're doing is right. We believe that it's worthy of us investing in it that way. And what we're really doing is we're building that trust That's with right. the member and with That's the right. community by investing in the community. And it, it, if you get that $10,000 loan, that's a perfect example. You went from 10000 on up. You know, if, if I wow. give you that $10,000 loan wow. interest-free, you're going to think of me uh, when, when business takes off. <clears throat> yeah. 
Well, uh, well, I'm going to think of you. <laughs> 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 you, you, you. You can believe that. Uh. Let's, there's so many things we need to talk about. Let's, let's move on, and there's we're only a limited amount of time, but we gotta get we got to get a few more things in because there's so much going on with your credit union, with your company and how you help people. Let's talk a little bit. Raymond and I have talked about, and this, this is another thing I've been amazed about, is that your mortgage products. Mm -hmm. Someone share with me this, these creative things. Remember, I just said I tell all of my viewers, that your goal is to get a 700 credit credit rating or better. That's got to be your goal. But tell me what you can do at, at Park as opposed to other lending uh, institutions. Well, I, one of the things I say about Park all the time, George, as I've told you before, is that uh, Park doesn't look to see what box you fit in, what, what's your silo. One of the things that we don't even know is a box for the record. Mm -hmm. We don't know. is it, it really comes down to what is it you need, and we look to create and put something together to meet that need. Uh, and so, you know, one of the things that you're talking about, 700, we want to see you get to 700. Our goal is to help you get to 700. And we do that with the financial education and with biblical economics. But, you know, we have a product that you're talking about that one of them is, is that we're assisting that individual to be able to obtain home, no, home ownership. We recognize home ownership is the creation, the start of wealth, right? I build some equity. I'm able to, to sell the home. I can start businesses, I can get largest home, gain, gain more equity. So we recognize the importance of home ownership. So one of the products that you're talking about uh, is we call a first step mortgage, where we actually will lend someone 100% of what they're looking to borrow, 100% with no PMI. So if you haven't bought a home, you go, okay. But typically, if you know if you're greater than 80%, this private with, mortgage With insurance. no PMI? No, no PMI, PMI mm -hmm. right? Watch this, George. We, we assist you with $2,000 of the closing costs, and you could have a credit score of 585. And so even though I know we go, the goal is getting to 700, we want to give people that opportunity. Here's what I like to say all the time, is that there's hope for the hopeless at part. And we don't want anybody to feel hopeless and don't have an opportunity of gaining that, that American dream, the piece of the pie. So we look to put things together to meet your need that will work with you. If you're willing to put the time in, we're going to give you the resources later to make sure that you're able to obtain what you're looking to do. You, you, you know, Raymond, you and I have talked many times, right? And, and you shared with me one of the main reasons that people don't buy a home is because they don't believe they can buy That's a right. home. That's right. Correct. So... So what do you do, man? When, how do you how do you communicate that with folk? How do you let them know that there is some light at the end of the tunnel? You want to take that? Lead? I think it goes back to a word that we were talking about earlier: trust. Yeah. yeah. Building trust, being there in the community, listening to what the needs are, and genuinely showing the concern that we want to make a difference, that we want to partner. And I think that's what it takes: is that tr building that trust. It's all about the financial education and getting the word out there, whether it's through word of mouth, it's doing shows like this. But you've got to get the word out there, but you've got to keep at it. you got to mm -hmm. keep at it. Yeah. And, yep. and you got to have the examples to show that you're for real because people have been told many times, I'm here to help you. That's and then when you need help, bam, they're gone. Yeah. And, and we're not going anywhere, but we've got to, we've got to prove that to people. Mm -hmm. Well, let, let me say this about that. It says a lot about all three of you guys that is busy as I know you are. You're CEO of a major <laughs> corporation. You're the executive vice president. And now you're the president of a new division. We're going to talk about it in a moment, all right? For you to take the time just to share some features and benefits of what you guys do tells, also tells me a lot about you because usually people will take on the personality of its leaders. Yeah, and, and I'm glad you said this. So, so, because let me say something with that, George. You, you, you hit the nail <laughs> on the head. I tell people all the time, leadership start, starts at the top. It flows from the top, right? It flows down. And so, one of the things that I'm very grateful for, what we're talking about, what you're seeing, the products and services that we offer, start at the top. So here's an example. You just said it. We've got the president and CEO of the corporation, the executive vice president of the corporation, endorsing and making sure we implement the products that we say we're going to do. I mean, so much to the point that as we introduce some of the products and services, 
they put in place because sometimes you overlook something that before anybody got turned down in the West End of what we were looking, what we were trying to accomplish in home ownership, home ownership, they wanted to make sure they took a secondary look at it to make sure we didn't overlook something to ensure that somebody could be a homeowner. So I think that, that it starts and it flows down. And when you have that kind of leadership at the top, it's easy to get out, particularly when you have the passion of helping people to get out and really sell it. And it's over and over and over. Just because you say it, doesn't mean somebody's going to believe in it, right? The proof, the proof of the pudding's in the eating. So we have to continue to do it. And then the advertisement and the word of mouth passes and goes from, from house to house to individual to individual, and then people continue to come. Yeah. And, and you're doing, let me tell you where you are. You've got to realize, audience, where we're, we're sitting in the heart of the California community yeah. in western Jefferson County. Yeah. We're sitting in, in a zip code this average household income is one of the lowest of any zip codes in the state of Kentucky. Yet, they're willing to take their time and their resources to let people know that wealth gets started first by understanding money. Right. Mm -hmm. And secondly, by having the opportunity to have access to money. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then third, by, by, by being able to own that property that you live in. Right rather than to, to, to build the portfolio of a landlord. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's, that's great, that's mm -hmm. great stuff. Yeah. So before, before we go any further, I just got this, I got to start this. Got to, got to go here. Park just started a new division. And when um, my friend and fraternity brother, Raymond Smith, called me to tell me about that, I said, they did what? I mean, considering all the things you've already done, then they started in a vision called Aura. Oh, yes. And um, so, and they named Raymond as president of that division. Take a few minutes to share people, share with people what that's about. Uh, I'm very honored and humbled, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and thinking back on that, um, you know, I told you leadership just starts at the top. So when they told me this, you know, I, my, my mouth hit the floor and like, what? Uh, and so I'm very honored and very humble uh, to be able to do this. Orwa is uh, a relationship and the partnership with the General Association of Baptists in Kentucky. So uh, Orwa uh, uh, is an African proverb that means our wealth. And so one of the things that we want to do is be a laser focus on making sure we're penetrating the African-American, the black community, those that are underserved, that population. And so we have a relationship, and we're the official credit union of the General Association that is 175,000 people, 500 plus churches throughout the state of Kentucky. And so we're working very closely hand in hand with them. One of the things that I appreciate about the relationship is that they know that there are other underserved areas. There, you know, it doesn't have to be just of the Baptist church. We work with all of the faith-based communities. We work with the Hispanic community. Even some of our majority churches have said, we like what you're doing uh, with Oral, well, and we want to be a part of that as well. So we're looking to make a difference in those individuals' lives working with people of color, working with our, 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 our African-American and our, our Latino community and our black community to show that we're serious about what we're doing. And so uh, from that comes Oral Wolf Financial, a division of Park Community Credit Union. And I'm very humbled and, 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 and honored to be the president of that. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, to my phone just blowing up off the, off, off the wall to take care of people because it's real. It's real. And some of the products and services that we're offering separate us from any other institution trying to lend money. Well, you, you've gone from, it, it's one thing just to sit there. I've always said this many times, I went back, back in my uh, radio leadership days, that there's only one way to coast, and that's down here, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and, and if, you, if you're not looking to grow, then the, the, the only other way to go is down. Yeah. So... Look, share with me this. Tell me, um, and you've told one story. Tell me about another story of a, of a customer that because he walked in or she walked in your door, that it helped to change their life financially. I'll give you one. I'll give you one that to this day touches me. Um, and, and it was a couple coming in that didn't think there was any hope. Remember what I said, there's hope for the hopeless. Mm -hmm. And didn't think there was any opportunity for them. And and they were getting up in age and had never purchased a home. 
Didn't think it was possible for them. And, 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 and somebody here recommended them, go, just go sit down and talk with them. And, and we sat down and talked and, and worked with them. And, and if I could share with you the comments and the looks on the face and the tears in the eyes when we were able to say, oh, yeah, you, you're qualified to buy this home. You're going to be a homeowner. And for somebody to go who never thought they had an opportunity, never thought they had a chance to being able to be handed some keys to their own home is a moving thing to see. And so, you know, one of the things that I just love to see and go back to saying is don't, don't talk yourself out of something. Come in and sit down and let's talk about what you're trying to do. And I, and I tell people this all the time, George, that we may not say yes today, but we don't say no. I tell people all the time, we don't say no. Sometimes we have to say not now. But if you follow the steps of one, two, three, or one, two, when you complete it, we're going to give you the money, the finances that we've talked about giving you because you've gone through the program, right? Whether it's financial education, financial literacy, whether it's the biblical economics that I do with our, our churches and with our community to be able to share how we get there, right? Does your money control you or do you control your money? And we try to teach that in these classes. That, that is the reason that Pastor Cosby wanted to have a program called Your Money Matters. Because I've shared the statistic, I'll share it with you guys. In December 19, before the pandemic took over, 45% of every American in the country, regardless of ethnicity, did not have $1,000 saved. Right. Not $1,000. And, and less than 75% actually had $5,000 saved. So that's what made the pandemic, other than the health issues that have all been documented. Secondarily, it's probably also was a, a, a factor in health issues. Is this, you know how sometimes a money, a, a money issue can make you feel bad too. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. absolutely. So, so, before I go any further, Jim, kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask this of you, mm -hmm. because you are the leader of the organization. What is the one thing or the few things that make you feel the best about being the leader of such a great organization? You know, I, th I think it's, it's seeing the staff buy into what we're trying to do. You know, we're, we're operating different. When I took over as CEO, one of the things I told them was we were going to be a different type of financial institution, that we were going to lead with our heart, and, and that's how we were going to do it, and we were going to make an impact on the community. So over the years, when, when I get the opportunity to talk to the staff and talk to them about the mission or we announce a new product or a new division that's going out, it's seeing the excitement uh, that they have that we're doing something to make a difference in the community and we're making that impact and, and having them buy into it. You know, you, you mentioned the faces as you heard the story, but then see the faces of our 280 employees knowing that they're working for an organization that's going to make a difference in the community. That is, but prior to our program today, audience we talked about the word trust and in my opinion and I think we all agreed mm -hmm. that there's nothing more important that a person can give another person than their trust because trust can last a lifetime you'll spend five thousand dollars this week but trust can last a lifetime right well I just want you to know that it has been my pleasure to be able to talk to all three of you to actually get to feel where you are as it relates to what you're trying to do and to know that you're trying to help a community. In the, in the African-American community, there are a lot of reasons that people shy away from financial institutions. We talked about that before. Mm -hmm. But what, what I'm trying to do, along with your help, is to help them to be more comfortable, mm -hmm. to help them to understand that when you understand your money, I think, Ray, you just said it a second ago, to you control your money and not your money to control you. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. With that being said, I just want to thank you, audience. Thank you for spending some time with me. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. We've enjoyed being it. Here. Thank you, Dave. Well, thank you. It's been a privilege. You know, and as always, <laughs> Reverend. Uh, <laughs> bless, you. <laughs> bless you. Thank you. It's as always, show. Reverend. Yeah. Reverend. <laughs> my brother. Huh? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. And, 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 so your money matters, and at St. Stephen Baptist Church, remember, God loves you, and so do we. Amen. Amen. Amen.